What's going on guys and today I'm bringing you my review of Medal of Honor Warfighter Now I gotta say this is a game developed by Danger Close which is you know the guys who developed Medal of Honor And uh, you know the ones with Frontline and all those classic good old classic Medal of Honor is the one that got me into FPS shooters and then uh, you know stuff like that And um, you know they, they had a re they rebooted the whole franchise on 2010 with Medal of Honor which that that game I totally love you know that game which is freaking awesome man it's like oh the, the campaign was awesome the multiplayer was you know it was pretty cool you know the, the, it was developed by DICE but it was you know it's pretty cool solid until you know DICE decided like you know, you know what we're not gonna support it no more you know we're gonna focus more on Battlefield 3 you know Danger Close you take over which in by then it got even better like you know stuff like that you know Marvel 3 came out you know stuff like that anyways so let me talk let me start by say, you know, talking about the story, you know, my, the whole campaign, the campaign has been solid, you know, I'm for one, and really dig, and I really like the campaign, because, you know, it was based on true stories, you know, from the Navy SEALs that, from the, the Navy SEALs, you know, they brought them in, they co-written this game as well, and, um, the thing is that, you know, some of the Navy SEALs, like seven of them got in trouble for, you know, revealing some stuff, you know, like the, the game brought out, you know, the like the whole the Navy wasn't pretty wasn't pretty happy about that, but you know you know they the these missions, campaigns, the story, you know, these this is all what these guys, you know, went through and everything like that, you know. Stuff that these guys go through, man. I mean, these guys busted their asses. You know, for us, you know, while we're right here watching this video or you're watching this video or whatever, you know, you're doing more, there's guys out there, you know, busting their asses, you know, being, being in the battle, you know, stuff like that. It's just crazy, you know. Like, well, that, you know, I gotta admit, you know, it's uh the campaign as you know, it's a, it's not like it's not it's not like slow but medium, kind of like mediumish, not like super half fast paced explosions everywhere, the buildings coming on top of you, you know, stuff like that. But uh. Um, I will say that I will take this campaign, you know, over um, Battlefield 3, Battlefield 3's campaign, which is, you know, a little bit slow, and it's like what? <laughs> but you know, I I did enjoy it overall. But you know, Medal of Honor's campaign is, you know, it's pretty solid. You know, it takes the story of um of mother, of uh, you know mother, but mainly um preacher, you know. But it's still, it's a pretty, it's a pretty you know damn camp good campaign you know one of the things that did surprise me was the, the whole driving scene you know i'm like whoa this has driving stuff you know like oh which was you know helped by uh develop the, the developers but from need for speed i'm like no wonder it was so solid you know this, the whole driving was pretty cool and it was intense too it was like whoa like i'm actually doing this am i playing metal bottom it's like whoa oh i was like that that hasn't been done in a while you know for a driving scene for a FPS shooter game, you know, that was pretty damn good. I really, you know, j did enjoy that, you know. But, uh, you know, it, it was pretty, you know, it was, it was a solid campaign. I really did enjoy it until, the, like, the whole ride, you know. It's a pretty short campaign, too, maybe a few hours, maybe four, you know, depending on how good you are, four to five hours, and, um, and you're pretty much done with the game, which is... You know, it's overall, it's a pretty damn good campaign. I really did enjoy this game. Now, let me talk about the graphics. The graphics here are amazing. They're really fantastic graphics, thanks to the Frostbite 2 engine. And man, dude, they don't disappoint, especially when you're playing piece on the PC on with high ultra settings. Oh my, ugh. Lord, Lord. You know, it's pretty amazing graphics you know the detail and everything like the whole environment how it looks the whole sun you know it's just amazing the graphics you know oh my god these graphics are amazing even on the ps3 and xbox they look freaking amazing you know of course thanks to the frostbite 2 engine you know that's you know that's pretty good now the sound is sound is pretty damn good you know the sound the whole bullets you know coming in through the walls and everything like the whole hitting in the wood the 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 guns they sound really solid you know the voicing and everything they sound pretty good and I really did enjoy the whole sound especially when you're wearing a headset it's like oh man you know the sound just gets way better and it's just like really you know really enjoy the, you know the whole the whole soundtrack of the you know throughout the campaign you know it's, it's just really it's just pretty good 
I, guess I, I will say that. Now the controls, you know, the controls are pretty common with FPS shooters, you know, like with the L01, you know, you raise up your gun, ADS, and R1 to fire, you know, and you know, stuff like that, but, but I was, I would say this is more similar towards uh, Call of Duty controls, you know, like R2 to so throw a grenade, and um, uh, R3 is to, uh, to knife, and stuff like that, or oh, Tomahawk, you know, stuff, they really emphasize the Tomahawk right here, which is pretty, which is pretty cool, um, Bro, I will say that I do love the peak system that um, Medal of Honor has, the holding out so you can peak, like a little peak peak up and down, which is pretty amazing when you're playing on multiplayer uh, or the campaign still, like instead of you bringing out your whole body into like, say, you know, leaving your legs or your, you know, your chest or whatever on the open or you just take a little quick peek and shoot and come back down, up and down, you know, which is pretty damn good. I really, I really like that, you know, I really love that, exactly, to be like that like that and so you know there's you know there's a there, there is some things that i do like about this game and you know of course my dislikes you know it's going be like a nice fair review what i do like about this campaign is the multiplayer the multiplayer you know because some reviews they mainly focus on the, on the game but they just get the multiplayer yeah the multiplayer is good that's it but no 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 i'm going to you know pretty good multiplayer yep we feel the multiplayer features a fire team buddy system, which I gotta say is awesome. It, you know, think of it as un if you play Uncharted 3, you know, Uncharted um, system. Uncharted 3 has a um, um, buddy system as well. You know, you can spawn with your buddy, you can do this and that. And um, thinking of that with mixtures of Battlefield 3 squad system, you know, you can spawn in there. You can, you know, give your teammates uh, ammo, you can heal them, which is, you know, I gotta say. It's just pretty damn good, you know, it promotes teamwork, you know, you and your buddy are like together, you know, you're shooting each other, he gets hurt, you heal him, and uh, it, it really emphasizes, you know, the multiplayer really emphasizes on, you know, on gun on gun action, you know, and, and teamwork, you know, those kill streaks, you know, I guess, yeah, the kill streaks, you know, it, they're really balanced, so I will say, you know, they give you the option of attack, you know, go, go on the offensive, or you, or you could be on the defensive, side of the of the kill streaks you know which i really enjoyed you know they're not overpowered like super like you know like call of duty status you know like missiles like coming down like all these other places like in you know like in black ops 2 right now they have all these like crazy ass you know score streaks you know stuff like that but you know the game Medal of honor multiplayer really emphasizes on gun on gun action that's a, you know a lot of things that i like now Another thing that I do like, which I really like about this game, is the customization of the loadout. Now you can pick a gun as you go through the, uh, as you rank up, you unlock more guns, and you can heavily customize the weapon. Very good, and not only that, it affects how you, how you know, how you it affects the range of the weapon, how you run with the weapon, how you. What is it? The recoil and everything. You could put a foregrip. You could put a. a you could change the muzzle. You could change the scope. You could change the the handler to give you more of a, you know, running capabilities and you know all this. You could paint it. You know, all these other customizations and it's just amazing. Like the low eye, you can customize it to make it how you, you know, desire. Which is pretty cool and I really do like that. You know, it's like whoa, finally, you know. You know, because Battlefield 3 has that too as well. You can customize your your weapon, but in Battlefield, um, Metal, I'm not, not Battlefield, Metal of Honor, I think you could take it to another step further and, you know, it affects the soldier with, like, you know, you're running, you can really run fast or you can run slow. And it's just really, pretty cool. And, and I, I gotta say that. Now, now, another thing that I do like, now this is a small one, but I really do like it. Is you could choose the country you want to represent, represent, you know, instead of the usual Americans versus the Russians, you know, stuff like that, you know, like in mainly Call of Duty games, you know, it's always that, or even Battlefield, it's always like that too. Um, this one, you could be a Canadian, you could be American, you could be a Korean guy, you could be a, a German guy, you could be a Russian guy, and the whole teams, even the enemy teams, they don't have to be just the Russians or whatever, they could be a mixture of Americans and all these stuff. It's just pretty awesome like that. Like, whoa, who, why haven't they done this before? It's like, finally, a Canadian can represent a Canadian instead of a Russian or American like that. You know, it's, it's, it's pretty cool. Like, 
I really I really like that, you know, for my in my opinion. Now this game has um this drawbacks of course, like the things that I didn't like. You know? And I will start by saying that yes, this game has a lot of bugs, you know. This game hasn't been finished, I'm pretty sure, but even with the day one patch, you know, it it, it um I'm pretty sure leaving it a lot of bugs, but there's plenty left that the developers needed to take care of, which will be ironed out over time because this game is, you know, on the long run as well, like maybe a two years until the next Metal Runner comes out. Now, I will say that um, there's been a bugs, but it hasn't really ruined in, ruined the game, the gameplay for me, you know, in my opinion. Now, the cutscenes will, you know, will freeze for a second or two and, we, you know, will continue on, which is not, not really that bad. The audio will glitch sometimes and the text will be out of sync of the audio, you know, doesn't happen a lot, maybe like a, a scene and then it will go back to normal, which is pretty new. One of the things affects in um, multiplayer is the animations are off sync, you know, the reload animations sometimes are off sync, you know, which is, I don't really, it, it kind of does bother me in a bit, it's like, whoa, am I reloading or not, can I shoot, you know, stuff like that, you know, not really that big of a deal, but you know, sometimes it will annoy me like that. The AI, the artificial intelligence, is, you know, pretty dumb in this game, you know, uh, it, which means, like, you basically have to do everything in the game, which, you know, in a way, that's how much, much of the pretty, um, FPS shooters have been nowadays, you know, in Call of Duty, I have to do everything, you know, in Battlefield 3, I have to do everything, it's, it's just, like, normal stuff, but, but, the thing is that, in here, it takes a bit more to get, um, for the, the the I guess the AI to move forward, you know, it takes a quite a few seconds. Like, oh, everyone's dead. Let's move forward. You know, it happens sometimes, but not often. But you know, it's it is can be pretty, um, you know, it can be pretty, you know, pretty dumb. But that's more mostly what I found out. You know, from the my dislikes. You know, it's bugs, but you know, overall, it'll be ironed out the whole through the whole, you know, the long run. Now, you know, this the game, the replay value of this game is pretty high, you know, if you're into it and uh, if you're tired of, you know, the COD games or, you know, you want to try something else, you know, the Medal of Honor's, you know, multiplayer is, is a lot of fun for me. You know, it's smooth, and, like, it's smooth, it's fast paced, it's a bunch of action, like, gun on gun, you know, if you like that, then you, you really can enjoy the multiplayer. And, um, you know, the stuff will be ironed out in the future. Now, you know, this game isn't meant to be a game changer, you know, and hell, in fact, it hasn't been, there hasn't been, like, a military shooter game that changes the field in a long time, you know, is this game perfect? No, I don't, I don't think so, should you buy it? You know, you know, if you like fast face gun on gun action with customizable weapons, then yeah, you should give it a, you know, you should give it a shot since the majority of the time you'll be on the multiplayer, so, you know, stuff like that. You know, I, I gotta say, I, I do enjoy this game, you know, b between it's being overshadowed, you know, it's being overlooked because of the, like, oh, it's not a COD game, whoa, it's not a Battlefield game, you know, stuff like that. It's like, oh, it's just Medal of Honor, because, you know, the 2010 was a pretty solid game, and, you know, the 2012 game is a pretty, it's a pretty solid game as well. You know, I really join it, I'm playing, a, you know, quite a bit. Here and there, but you know, I'm having a blast. You know, it's it's a really it's a really fun game <laughs> to be honest. But you know, it, it does have some cool you know game modes like in the they have this uh, kind of like a demolition slash um, rush kind of uh, game mode, which I really love. You know, that's got kind of, that's got kind of, that's gonna be badass. You know, <laughs> it's pretty cool. Now, one thing that. Uh, that I will say is that, you know, you know, maybe give it a, sh I really, you know, I will say that I really enjoy this game, playing it, playing this game is pretty awesome, I really enjoyed it, I enjoyed playing the multiplayer, the campaign was fantastic, you know, fantastic, the buddy team, fire, the fire team, buddy system is awesome, really, it's just really awesome, you know, it's a pretty, you, you know, if you enjoy the game, the replay value is going to be, you know, extremely high, you know, overall, I give this game an eight, you know, an eight out of ten, you know, aside from the bugs and everything like that. Other than that, you know, two thumbs up. You know. Well, anyways, that's it for my review, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.